woke up this morning near the town of Penigal. Again, pronunciations. I had a really great sleep. It was a nice quiet spot just with sheep as my neighbors. At one point, this one sheep just like started scratching himself against the tires of my car. So I opened the door and, you know, started talking to him a bit. He just stared at me. And then he kept going closer and closer and closer. And at one point I reached out my hand to see if he would like sniff my hand. That freaked him out and he ran off. And what do you think you're doing? Huh? What do you think you're doing? So I never did see any otters. I kept my eyes out uh, every now and again to see, but I didn't get lucky. So I've seen just about every other kind of wildlife this trip. Seals, all kinds of birds, all kinds of other stuff, but no otters. Oh well. So anyways, I just continued on down the road and it ended up in kind of the end of the road going this way on Mall and it's a town called Finport and it's got a ferry terminal that goes over to the island of Iona. It's also a spot where some different tours leave to go to different islands nearby. And so I got there at about quarter to 12 and they had like the different posters up of the different tour organizations and one of them said daily tours leaving at noon to go to Staffa, which I'd really wanted to go to. So I quickly went on my phone, went online and booked myself a ticket. That worked out really well timing wise. I almost thought that I would have to go into Finport, figure out a tour today and then come back for it tomorrow. But I ended up being able to do everything today. So I went with a trip through Staffa Tours and it was lovely. Their boat was super modern and, and nice. It took about 35 minutes to get over to the island of Staffa. The only thing I would say wasn't that great was they only gave us one hour on the island of Staffa. And to me that was not enough time because there's two kind of main attractions on this island. And it's a completely uninhabited island. There's nothing there. But there's this cave called Fingal's Cave. And it's made out of the same kind of geometric rock that you would find in Ireland and Giant's Causeway. And there used to be like a boardwalk almost right into the cave, but it got destroyed this winter. so. You can still walk up to the cave, but that's about it. But I never got a chance to do that because I did not have enough time. Because the other main attraction is if you walk up the hill in, in over about 10 minutes, there's a whole colony of puffins. You might think, Erica, you've seen puffins already this trip. Why do you care? No, these puffins were amazing. So the tour guide told us that these puffins have become accustomed to humans and not that they've been tamed, but that they recognize that when humans are nearby, their predators will not come nearby because their predators are afraid of humans. Smart little birds. So they were going about their business, building their nests and whatnot, and the bigger predator birds were staying away. hour watching them. 
well, it's really not an hour because by the time you take the 10 minutes to walk there and then there's 10 minutes to walk back to the boat, you really only have 40 minutes. Stop at Tours, if you ever watch this, give us the chance to stay longer. I could have stayed easily for at least double the amount of time. appreciated a lot was on the way back they gave us a choice of whether we wanted to get off in Finport or get off on Iona and since I wanted to see Iona as well that saved me the waiting for the other ferry and once in Iona I walked to the Abbey it has a really rich history in Christianity which I'll have to read about more because I mean I read about it when I was there and I listened to the audio guide but when you're at these touristy places it's so much information overload Eventually I just stop listening and I know that's terrible, but I just get to a certain point where I just can't anymore absorb, absorb any more information But I do find like once I visit a place that I'm more interested to read about it again later I was never a kid that was interested in history in high school, but since I've been traveling more I do get curious about the places I've seen and then read more into them after the fact when I'm back home and have more time anyways, so it was really interesting to wander around and it is still actively used by what they they call themselves the Iona community they had a whole display about their beliefs and their commitments it was really inspiring what they're continuing to do yeah it was neat to see wandered back to the ferry after that and stopped in a few little shops along the way i probably would have wandered around and checked out more of Iona had it been a sunny or even a just cloudy day but since it was raining pretty seriously again by then I didn't stick around too long when I got back to the main area there was a ferry there and I just hopped on it the ferry back across to Finport took about 10 minutes it's not far you can you can see it you could probably swim it if you're a good swimmer and then got in the car and headed back towards Craig Neuer which is where I'll get the ferry back to Oban back to kind of the mainland of Scotland and so I figure I'll end up on that ferry at some point tomorrow. I don't have a reservation though, so we'll see how that goes. For now, I'm literally in the middle of nowhere. I looked on the map to see if I was near you in a tiny town. Nope. Nothing. So, middle of nowhere mole, here I am. And I figured it didn't really matter where I ended up tonight because it's raining anyways. You can't see anything anyways. And it was starting to get later, so just a nice, quiet place to sleep for the night and then continue on tomorrow. And then I am not sure what I'm doing next. We'll see. Might go towards civilization a little bit and check out some stuff that I really hadn't planned on, but since it's kind of rainy and not conducive to all the wildlife and whatnot, I might go do some more historic touring, kind of indoor type stuff. Anyways, that is it for today's adventures. Mm -hmm.